Hello, my fellow YouTuber channels, or whatever you like to say. It does not matter. You can say whatever you want to say to yourself. But today, I will basically be explaining the entire story of Dragon Ball. All the way from Rage of Dragon Ball was a kid, all the way to Dragon Ball GT. Because it technically comes after Dragon Ball Super. And I'm going to make this oversimplified, just so you know. So, <clears throat> how do we start? Okay, then. It all started 40 years ago, when Goku was just a little child, or more of a baby. A strange little fellow with a mask named your Grandpa Gohan had found him in the forest. He then took him as his own child, but then Goku had hit his head. Grandpa Gohan had taken care of him, but he had been fine already. Take back a few years later now, and Goku, with his new tail, has become a great ape and accidentally killed Grandpa Gohan, but he never knew he did. And then, now, the story of Dragon Ball begins. A little while ago, a boy named Goku was found in the forest helping for food. But he, come, he came across this teenager known as Boma. She was looking for these magical silver orbs known as the Dragon Balls. Also, Boma's kind of a bitchy bitch, so she shot Goku in the head. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I mean, Goku just got mad. Yeah, that's about it. No, I'm just kidding, they became friends and all that. Fast forward a few months or days or weeks. They, they then come across the bandit desert, the, the desert bandits, known as Yamcha. Soon he become the weakest character in all Dragon Ball. But he was cool at that point in time. He actually managed to knock out Goku, which is something nobody has done before, besides Grandpa Gohan. Well, really, Goku just kind of lost because, uh, well, he was hungry. He then came back with a full stomach and beat the crap out of Yamcha. So that's cool. And then, Goku, Yamcha, Krillin, Poir, and Krillin. I probably said Krillin, but that doesn't matter. They all team up to go get the Dragon Balls. But they have to deal with the Pilaf gang first. <laughs> Everyone likes them, of course. Who doesn't like the Pilaf gang besides everybody in the known universe? <clears throat> So yes, since they're a bunch of scumbags, they all used to get the Dragon Balls to become rulers of the world. But that ain't happening for them, nuh-uh. But Goku and the gang get stuck inside of a drat. Eh. Goku and the gang get stuck inside of a castle. And Goku, with Master Roshi, has to deal with the Devil Man. The Devil Man's special ability that he used on Goku was to see if he had any evil in him. If Goku or anybody had even a single ounce of evil in them, they would be destroyed immediately. But because Goku was never exposed to evil, nothing happened on him. And so they were free to go. And they got the Dragon Balls. But also, uh, the Red Ribbon Army also had something to say about that, and they said, Hey, um, no, we can't let you get that. Um, that's ours. And then, <sighs> General Blue shows up. Put the shotgun in Goku's face, ain't gonna do anything. Goku kills the entire Red Ribbon Army, which is quite an impressive feat with barely any training at all. He then kills Officer Black, and deals with General Blue by apparently poking him in the eyes and also scissor paper rock, however you want to say it. And then Tao, a few days later, actually kills him. He nearly kills Goku, too. And then Goku's like, Oh, it's pretty tough dude. It's pretty tough dude. And you don't have to go train. And, that, and then he does with this gigantic, well, not so gigantic. This kind of basketball sized furry, however you want to put it. He like, Alright, dude, have these beans or whatever. And also, here's this water. He's like, Alright, thanks, thanks, furry. Then he goes back down the tower that he came from with that furry, beats the shit out of Tao. And Tao goes back up there too. Still dies. Well, not really. He kills back his mecha towel or whatever you want to say it. 
to explain Now, we have to deal with the biggest threat of all, King Piccolo. King Piccolo is basically Satan's version of Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball's version of Satan. He caused Master Roshi to die using the evil containment waves. Beat up Goku. Goku almost died from his injuries. Had to get, you know, had to get some beans in that magical water again. And so he was fine. And then, Goku, Piccolo Jr., as evil as he was, he wished for the Dragon Balls to get eternal use. And then killed Shenron. He's evil. What else is he gonna do? And so Goku just revived Goku and King Piccolo balling out. And he wasn't looking too good for Goku, but Goku knew exactly what to do. He then threw a dragon fist straight at King Piccolo. For sure killing him. But before King Piccolo died, he let out his final attack. Speeding out an egg. And this egg will now be known as Piccolo Jr. Around two more years, I'd say five. Yes, around five. Goku's now a team. In World Arshimaru's tournament, tournament, he finishes off with Piccolo Jr. Piccolo Jr. fangs how to go giant, almost kills Goku, and shoots him straight in the chest, nearly killing him. But Goku still somehow wins with broken legs. Cause he can do that, apparently. Yeah, that works. And then even more years later, Raditz shows up and like, Hey, uh, um, Kakarot, Kakarot, um, bring your lazy, get your lazy ass up, we're gonna go beat Frieza. And then Goku's like, Man, what does Frieza do? I ain't one. And then Raditz's like, Fine, I'm just gonna take your son. And Goku's like, Wait, 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 And then Raditz just leaves him. Yeah. And then Goku has to up with Piccolo, and they're like, alright man, it's just a one time thing, okay? And then Goku's like, okay. They both get beat up, but Piccolo, in order to win, Goku has to sacrifice himself. So go so Piccolo can use the special beam cannon, and it works. And now Piccolo has to deal with a whiny four year old. No, three year old. He has to do one. He has to deal with a whiny three year old that managed to hurt Raditz. Mm. I mean, it's not, it's not something wrong with that, but whatever. Meanwhile, in other world, also known as Dragon Ball Heaven, Goku learns the Kaioken with King Kai and the Spirit Bomb, and everybody gets stronger. A year later, Nappa and Vegeta shows up. Nappa just straight up booty rapes everyone, except for when Goku comes over here, and he um, breaks his back. Vegeta's like, hey bro, get your, get your, get, your, get up, get up. You know, you ain't dead now. And then the apple's like, uh, uh, help me, Vegeta. And then Vegeta's like, alright, bro, I got your back. And then he shows up in the air and evaporates him into nothingness at all. The end. Ha, I'm just kidding. And then Goku and Vegeta have one of the most iconic fights of all time. And then Goku uses the Kaioken. And then uses the Spear Bump to finally defeat. Vegeta, but he somehow lives. Somehow. When Goku's on the floor, beaten and battered, Vegeta is great up to batter to batter him even more. So he really has no chance at all. But Yaji Robi thought is a kid tough tail off. And then he dies. And so Vegeta injured and battered goes after Yajirobe Kron and Go on, and they somehow managed to survive. And Vegeta was on the edge of death and going to his pod. Crow was like, Nah, I'm not letting you live. I'm gonna kill you. And then Goku's like, No, 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 wait, wait, dude. We need Vegeta for the plot. And so Crow lets him live. Nah, is that thing was like, Um, everybody's dead. What are we supposed to do? And, well, they go to Nimic. But apparently other people are going to Nimic for their own needs. But Frieza forces collecting the Dragon Ball for Frieza, so Frieza become immortal. Some of the majority just want to use it for themselves so they can become eternally beautiful and have the ultimate power to defeat Frieza. 
Wow, Gia just wants to go over here to also be immortal and defeat Frieza. <sighs> Gohan and Krillin get their potential unlocked. And Goku gets beat up by Captain Ginyu as Goku. So that's confusing. And then Vegeta beats up Goku as Ginyu and Ginyu as Goku. Then Goku as Ginyu gets Ginyu as Goku in the time and gets his body back. But then he has to recover inside of a little pod. And so he does for a little bit. But while that's happening, Frieza has shown up and show his first, second, and third form. Just be at battering up everyone, even Piccolo, after he fought a second form. Vegeta was equal with his first form, but then after a few Zenkai boosts, he was equal with his third form. And then Frieza finally shows his final form, and boom, batters Vegeta into the ground. Vegeta was on the road of death until Goku came. And then Vegeta told everything that Frieza had done to Goku. Goku had saw this and said that he was a great prince. And then Vegeta finally dies on the name on the land of Mana. So Goku and Frieza fight! That's pretty cool. Goku does a spirit bomb on Kaioken again. He almost does it. And then Frieza's like, uh uh uh, no no no, monkey! I'm going to blow up your friend! And shoot that in the neck at him. No, 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 monkey. You know, all that and stuff, because that's just eh. Really, it doesn't matter. And after that, Goku finally screams the black off his hair and becomes a blonde and beats up Frieza as a super Saiyajin. I'm not sure what happens after that, besides Goku kind of just. Not exploding on Namek and going to your brat. About a year later, Mecha Freezer shows up and gets gutted by Future Trunks and also kills King Cold. Then Goku shows up and literally blocks for this dude's same attack that he did against Frieza with a finger. A finger. Yeah, that's how strong he is right now. A finger. Just Jesus Christ. So yeah, he's pretty powerful, I'll give you that. And then, Mr. Android show up and almost beat up everyone, but just tell us what's gonna happen. He just goes with the heart virus disease thing. Antidote. And then they fight, and Android 19 beats up Goat because he has a heart virus. So, uh, yeah. He did find a to a Super Saiyan, because he got resurrected. After Nami got exploded, and beats the crap out of 19. Then Android 17 and 18 show up and tell Vegeta that um he ain't nothing. And then after that, how many times have I said after that? Whatever. On forward, the fact. <coughs> They go cause and for 17 and 18 go cause havoc around West Sea. The Goku and his friends they have in it almost beats them. Piccolo absorbs Kai, and then <clears throat> after that, 17 and Piccolo has to work against Imperfect Cell to beat them to beat Imperfect Cell. Of course they don't, and 17 gets absorbed. Yeah, so that's pretty harsh. And then Piccolo is still alive. And then... <clears throat> suddenly comes with Perfect Cell, almost kills Android 16 with a key blast! And cause havoc. And then, and then he says Vegeta has unlocked his true potential with Super Vegeta. He almost killed Seven Perfect Cell. And then he just like, alright, I'm gonna let you absorb 18. And then, Super Cell's like, oh bro, thank you dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, he, so, Saint Perfect Cell does absorb him. And then he becomes Perfect Cell, takes a final flash to the face, barely even flinching, knocks out Vegeta, knocks out Trunks, and then, with all this power, 
he has to test it out on the Cell games. Gonna be announced a few days later. And so Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, Trunks, all train and train and train the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. And Gohan finally masters his Super Saiyan and gets his hair cut. Then the Cell games arrive. The first player up is Mr. Satan. He gets, um, pimp slapped by himself. So that happened. So Goku and Cell fight. And they're fighting and fighting and fighting until Goku hurts. It makes his son fight. He's like, Alright, Cell. You're pretty strong and stuff. My son's stronger than you. And there goes the music fading. Oh, I can't play that music. That's copyright. That's some copyright music there. Oh yes, we're worried. Oh yes. So bear Sir So Bear hugs Gohan to the verge of death. So that happens. And then Gohan finally unlocks the Super Saiyan 2 by Cell killing Android 16, beats the snot out of Cell, and punches him in the gut so hard, he throw up 18. Imagine doing that. Punching someone so hard, they throw up another person. So Cell's like, nah, forget this, I'm gonna explode. And he does, but on King Kai's planet, because Goku teleported him there. But he couldn't do it on Earth. And so Cell regenerates, somehow becomes perfect again? I'm not sure how he does, but he, he is. Shows up, immediately kills Trunks, knocks out Vegeta, and is equal with Gohan. Everybody can't do anything against Cell except Gohan. And then they finally do the coolest thing in Dragon Ball of all time. They do a Kamehameha clash. It was pretty equal, but Cell looks like he was winning. And Cell Vegeta's like, big bang attack on Cell's back. That got him. And then Gohan was like, eh, I got you. And then, that was the end of it. Cell died. Fast forward eight years later, Gohan became bootleg Superman. And is trying to impress Videl, aka his girlfriend, teaching Videl and Trunks and Goats and how to fly. Goten and Trunks don't have become a super stand on accident. How? I, I don't know. They just do. They just become super stands on accident. Somehow. If they, they just do. And then the new threat notice Majin Boo shows up. Bobby is something that I want to punch in the face of war. Imagine Vegeta's over here and he beats up Kakarot while he wasn't looking. And knocks him out. Majin Vegeta then fights Majin Buu. Sacrificing himself. But it doesn't do anything. So, uh, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't do much. The end. Aha, uh -huh, just kidding. We still got something to go through. So. Goku finally wakes up, so Majin Buu, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and even a Super Saiyan 3. Beats up Majin Buu, he claims it went all out against him. He could have easily killed him, but he didn't. And then Majin Buu splits into Evil Buu and Good Buu. Evil Buu absorbs Good Buu, and then he becomes Super Buu. And there's not a lot anybody can do. Hey, that rhymes. But not a lot. And so, Boo absorbs Gotenks and Gohan, becoming nearly invincible. And then, Vegeta and Goku choose with the Patara Irigus Via, and not doing that little ballerina dance with Gogeta. They beat Super Boo to the edge of death, and then he screams so loud that it's causing ripples through time to open. And then Vegeta's like, oh, I, I gotta stop that. Let him punches him so hard he stops. He goes inside of Majin Buu, releases all his friends, then they unfuse. Kid Buu then shows up and like, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to try to push drug. But besides that, Goku has no threat against him. Neither does Vegeta. And so Vegeta, Majin Buu, and Hercule, and Gohan, and everybody spends time just getting time for Goku to power up the spirit bomb. And then Hercule finally pushes it. And then Goku throws the spirit bomb at Kid Buu. Finally eradicating him. And then Goku says, when he's reborn as a good guy, I'll be waiting for a one-on-one -on -one match. Around a few years later, Goku has finally mastered for Saiyan 3, and is now facing against the mighty Lord Beerus, the god of destruction. He is no ordinary self, do you see? He knocked out Goku in a single chop. Goku has stood no chance, but then he knew about the Super Saiyan God, and then tapped into that power, and was equal to Beerus at 70% power. And their power, their power was so great that they had to suppress themselves so they could not destroy the Earth and the Universe. If they had put all out, the universe they were next to, and the universe they were in, would have been destroyed completely. Yeah. Not cool. And fast forward a year later, Goku and Vegeta finally unlock Super Saiyan Blue, fighting against Frieza. Frieza and Blue Goku pretty equal, Frieza's a little stronger, but Goku gets, you know, shot to the chest. Vegeta's like, okay, I'm gonna get my revenge. He almost does, but then Frieza blows up the planet. And he's just, man, he's just like, hey, bro, I got your back, got your back. And then it works the fine. So Goku kills Frieza. And then, not even a few years later, just like months, weeks, doesn't know, we head on to the universe survival arc. When Vegeta makes Kaba, beats him up as a Super Saiyan Blue, Blue, Blue Goku with Kaio Titan's 20 is fighting an equal of his kit. Hit awoken, I might say. And then we head on to the Zamasu arc, Goku Black arc, however you want to say it. So technically, it's before Battle of Gods, because he's Goku still in his former outfit, and it's the same scene from episode 1. Zamasu fought against Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and he has Zamasu jealous. He asks for Goku's body with Super Saiyan and so he does, and kills Goku. And then Trunks is like, oh, no, 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 I can't let you do that. And then go, huh? and then Trunks goes back to the past, Samurai Jack, and tells everyone about this. Super Saiyan 2 Goku is actually pretty equal with base Goku Black. And then Goku Black goes back and comes. And he's like, okay then, you're pretty cool, you're pretty cool and stuff, I'm gonna let you live for now. And so, they train and train and train, Goku and Vegeta train for Zamasu and Goku Black. And then there's no match for Super Saiyan Jose Goku Black, where they get knocked out. Vegeta almost gets killed, Vegeta comes back and beats him up badly. Goku gets angry, which is one of the favorite parts in anime I've ever seen ever. Beats up Zamasu and Goku Black at the same time, and then he loses all that anger, and he gets bodied. So there's that. So, they, you really need that they can't win, they have to fuse into Vegito. And so they do. And so they go through Black and Zamasu, becoming few as Zamasu. And they stand literally no chance against Vegito. He's actually wiping the floor with them. Badly. Like, bad, bad, badly. And so the monster becomes corrupted with one arm. Ah, oh, so I know it's a master fapping arm. And actually manages for a little mo for a little moment to knock out Vegito. He might even be stronger than Vegito at that point. But who knows? Not me. But now, because Trunks is like the main character now, I guess, he cuts the muscle in half with his spirit, with his spirit bomb sword, 
or whatever. And then Zamasu becomes the sky. Because that makes sense. And then Goku asks Zeno to destroy him. So he does, and then Trunks goes to another future with Mai. Even though Mai is technically 38 and something like that, I don't remember. Fast forward a little bit, but not too much. We head out to the Universe Survival Arc. Where? Goku when the Saiyans again known as Kale and Khalifa, and they train them to become Super Saiyans. So, then, but Goku finally turns into Super Saiyan Blue after Kale and Khalifa fuse to become Kefla, and they're quite the challenge for Blue Goku. In fact, he actually forfeits for him to fight Jiren. And he does, and gets the Molly Whopped, unlocks a Master of Ultra Instinct, also known as Omen, um, fucking destroys Kefla with no difficulty at all, like, be gone, Scott. And fights Jiren. Goku first has the upper hand, but then Jiren just kind of puts his hand up and says, Hey, bro, I should win it, so I can't let you do that. And so, BOOM! And then Goku goes Spirit Bomb again, becomes Master Roll for Instinct, beats up Jiren badly, Jiren becomes shirtless, equal with Master Roll for Instinct Goku, Goku loses the form, almost dies, 17, shoots Jiren in the back, Frieza does all this stuff, they all fight against Jiren, Jiren somehow gets knocked out, and then Goku, after finally winning, asks for all the universe to be restored. So why did you even start the tournament of power, you dumbo? I never knew Goku was that retarded. But whatever. On to the end of Z. Ten years have passed since the last scene of Dragon Ball Z. Goku has now a completely different outfit. And fights against a mysterious boy from the village known as Oob. He fights against the boy, but then he realizes he doesn't know how to use key or fly. Or he takes him in as his own, and realizes that he is the reincarnation as Boo. And then, he takes him in in his own way, and they fly up into the sunset. And that's the end of Z. And on with GT now. Ten years again! After the end of Z, at the last scene of the end, end of ZBZ. I'm gonna say DBZ, not ZBZ. But whatever. Goku, Oob, and the Hyperbolic Time Chamber are able to fight each other. And they're pretty equal in base form. Well, the Pilaf gang, man, is pretty bold. And they ask for Goku to become a kid again. And they definitely be done, and he does. And then the Black Star Dragon Ball, I mean, and the evil Shenlong, like, hey, bruh, Goku and Pan and whatever. Who names your child Pan? Whatever. Hey, bruh, if y'all don't collect these Dragon Balls in a year, um, Earth is gonna blow up. And, they're on an adventure now. And they get kidnapped by General Rildo. They think Goku's power is so unbelievably strong, they can't even track it. And then the most advanced planet in the universe. And so, General Wildo and Goku fight, and Goku states that he is stronger than Majin Buu, but still is able to be with him on base form. Does that make so much sense? He then finally goes Super Saiyan, he beats up Metal Wildo, Pan gets a few hits in, I'm not sure about Trunks, he just gets Molly Whops. And then that. After that, they head on to Earth. Again, for some reason. Baby's here now, in the Tuffle. And fun fact, um, apparently, the Tuffles, um, the children give birth to the parents? Because that makes sense. And yes, he gives birth to his own parents. That would make sense. And then he kills his own parents. Because that also makes sense. Um, 
And then after that, yada yada yada, takes over Vegeta's body. He has the best of all time. Almost kills Goku, takes over Gohan, Goten, and the others. Hope almost looks lost, but Goku turns into a Super Saiyan 4. Has been running for his life, but before that he went into Golden Grade. Still had this man running for his life. And then, Baby also turns into a Golden Great Ape. And they're equal now. But Goku, because of the plot. Because we need GC to keep going. Because of the plot! He finally defeats Baby. Concluding that. A year later, Dr. Jerome and Dr. Mew, who's apparently the child and parent for Baby at the same time. That, that makes sense. Yeah, he does that. Then they create an, another android known as Fully Artificial Android 17. And so, Android 17 from Heaven, I mean, Android 17 from Earth and Android 17 from Hell, they say the same word at the same time and view. And to Super 17, push Goku back so much that he has to use the Dragon Fist, killing Super 17. As a super fan. But he was super fan before, before, but he didn't use it that much. And then we head on to the Shadow Dragon Arc. Dragon The Shadow Dragon Arc. There are now seven Dragon Balls. Again. That Goku and the others must collect. And so they do. I, Shenron, fight up against Goku. Almost blinds him. But Goku says a no-no. And pushes him right to him. Noble Shenron and Goku become pretty good friends very fast because they're both noble. And then Omega Shenron kills Nova Shenron, absorbs all his Dragon Balls from his fellow comrades that have fallen. And then he becomes Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta have to fuse. They become Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Hurt this dude with his eyes. Simply block away the strongest attack in GT by looking at it. By by simply looking at it. Yes, by, by simply looking, he, he makes it go away. And then he almost Gogeta almost kills the Mega Shenron, but then they fuse, unfuse. And so Goku has to use the Spirit Bob. But Shin Shenron is like, no 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 no, and pales. Vegeta, with the- Oh, no, no! No, thank you. You don't do that. Who, who gave you the permission to do that? Oh, no, no. Yes, and then... He impales Vegeta with his spikes, also electrocutes him, and... Finally, Goku unleashes the spirit bomb. And then... Peace is fine, and then Goku has to say his final goodbye, because he has to go with Shenron, and because if you keep using the Dragon Balls, they'll be gone for good. And then Goku becomes the god of Dragon Balls, and becomes one with Shenron. 100 years later, Pan is still alive, but everybody you know and love is dead. Goku, Goku Jr. is probably here. And Pan is the great great grandma of Goku. Go to Goku Jr. Pan then trains Goku Jr. to defend himself against bullies in school. Which he does. He then has to find a few Dragon Balls to make sure Pan doesn't die from the virus that she has gotten. And mostly natural causes, too. He then manages to summon Goku from the dead a hundred years later. Goku then tells him that you need to collect more Dragon Balls, but he lets him have his wish anyway. And then Pan is finally restored, and pieces back put back together. With no one to worry about, Earth is in good hands, even for a hundred years. And then Goku, to all of his now friends, Say his final goodbyes. Anyways. And now he's God. He's God of everything. 
over 100 years, he watched Goku grow and grow and grow. See what he's done? And now he's up there with Bardock and Grandpa Gohan and Chi Chi. His brother, Raditz. His biological father, Bardock. His adopted father, Grandpa Gohan. His wife, Chi Chi. His sons, Gohan and Goten. And they're all probably having a party up there. And so, that's where it ends. The end of Dragon Ball. Huh. That was really something. So I hope you all like this. Because I for sure did. Telling everything about Dragon Ball. Taking a lot of pauses for no reason. And just having a fun time, you know? So, I don't know if I'll be uh, posting more often, but I know that when I keep posting more often, I'll make sure, for, for sure, for sure, to keep doing this. And I'll never stop. I promise. So, I'm actually going to keep this promise on like my other videos. And I guess, I'll see you guys tom today, tomorrow, next week. Definitely not next month. More of a next week, maybe. Who knows? Well, I'll just see you then. Bye! -bye.